How are you guys doing? I'm a bit nervous right now. That's okay, we're a little nervous too. Um, where did you start off at? How does one become a voice actor? This is the question we've been waiting for. <laughs> Easy one. Pretty it may easy. actually sort of be the question that we already answered at the very beginning, yeah, though, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it? we kind of... Yeah, did you, you probably you? already answered And I know yeah. the answer, but I'm not going to share it. <laughs> all right. Wally created all of us, essentially. He waved his magic wand. Beep, and there we were. Yeah, I, I really... I think I pretty much told my story. Yeah. Right, yeah. I just, it was, you know, stumbling into, from acting background. It's just, you know, lifelong dream, blah, blah, blah. Persistence, persistence, persistence. <laughs> If you slow that down and play it back, it's the secret to everything. <laughs> and for the kitty winks in the audience, that was audio tape being rewound. Let me ask you a question. What have you done to, if you're interested in this, to, to say, yeah, I want to move toward it? I'm so nervous right now, I don't know what to say. Forget. Lesson number right, one, next. you can't be nervous I, in front I of I was nervous coming in here doing the hat thing. We were having fun with that. Everybody's nervous. Probably have to watch all the Transformers series and come to conventions like this and try no, but I mean, voices. Does that help? Have you practiced with a machine that records your voice? No, I haven't yet. No. Then start. Okay. And I don't know, Scott might be able to answer this. I, are there voiceover workshops in Toronto? There must be in Vancouver. Uh, I don't know Toronto, per se. I mean, I would imagine there are, because there is a certain yeah. amount of, like, dubbing. And there is, I know there is work done in Toronto. Uh, Vancouver is, you know, a bigger center than Toronto, not as big as... Uh, there are workshops done. I teach in Vancouver occasionally. Uh, there are a number of people that do. When I started this, you know, even with all my experience as an actor and everything, when I started doing this, I did workshops with, like, Jenny and... And you learn a lot from working. I mean, that's sort of the vicious, the catch-22 of it is, the, the, you know, everything I know now I learned from working. And that's the best way to learn. But Se Second to my agent, the, 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 the workshops were key for me. Yeah. Uh, Part of it is uh, you can be absolutely brilliant in your bedroom all alone, but at, in Burbank at nine in the morning with three producers who don't particularly want to be there, suddenly... Uh, Learn what Valium is. So in a workshop, in a workshop, you, you, you start to get used to working in front of other people without yeah. being horribly self-conscious and nervous. <clears throat> and that would get, be get some friends of yours who have about the same level of interest and so you're comfortable working with them. And the three over there, five of you, whatever, get a group together. Start doing something instead of just thinking about, hey, that'd be fun. All right, Brett Michaels, nice to meet you. Rock on, dude! Because remember, every rose has its thorn. <laughs> By the way, when I started working in this business 25 years ago, we were working at Little Mountain Studio, which is where all those big albums of the time were recorded. I ran into Brett Michaels, and we were hanging out and goofing around. He stole his look from me. <laughs> That's true. Gotta put the hat back on. 